Hi guys, I've just been to Poundland again. My name's Fawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place. I'm always happy when I'm with you guys. Uh, and Bert, he stinks today, he's been chasing the ducks. Um, if you like the kind of thing I do, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. As you know, I'm supposed to be wallpapering today. I had high hopes that my hip would be good enough that I could do it today, but no, I've got up better it is much better but it's still not quite there so I thought right let's get on let's clear the decks so I've done some shopping and at the moment I'm washing and ironing I hate ironing and I've given me myself a lovely limp fringe you know with the steam coming up and me going <laughs> <laughs> as I iron <laughs> anyway I popped to Poundland so here we go picked up some of the uh, bulldog hair bulldog clip things get your claws out not for me they're for jay they're a pound for three they're not the strongest in the world but the kids step on them pinch them take them so she goes through them at a heck of a rate so when i see them i pick them up i bought myself a box of ferrera uh this is the box of eight for two pounds two of these is four pounds but the actual box when it comes in a hard plastic box is five pounds i don't understand it but I bought myself some. I love to play with things and make them different. Now I saw this picture, take a walk on the wild side. I think this will look great in the room that I'm doing because I'm jumbling up lots of different textures, but I don't like the white frame. So I'm going to repurpose the frame in some way. Could be as simple as just painting it gold. Then again, I may add something to it. I was kind of thinking of feathers might put feathers all the way around it just make it wacky that's what that room is going to be slightly wacky and it was a pound i picked up a paint stirrer again a pound opens the cans it'll open the cans and you can stir them i love these sorts of things i've had the smaller ones i've never had a long one before so i was really pleased to get this i know in america you can pick up the wooden ones they, they virtually give them away but uh, not so much over here so when i saw it i thought it's great for my cupboard I also picked up some Yoohoo, um, all purpose adhesive, only a pound. Again, I mean, if I was to do that picture frame, I do have a glue gun, but I might use some Yoohoo to put whatever I'm going to put on here because I feel like the frame is a bit mean on it at the moment. So that's why I'm sort of thinking about doing some, but I haven't decided what just yet. I still like that though, you know. So Yoohoo, <laughs> as always, a couple of bits for the kids. Um, I got them some shorts. I know this sounds mad this time of the year, but you know, I'm getting ahead of myself. But size three to four for um, how much were they? Two pounds fifty. So that will do little uh, Levi. And then almost the same, but not quite for Milo in a six to seven. And they were three pounds. Can you see that the patterns are slightly different? We'll just pop them away. I mean, at two pounds fifty, you know. I picked up for my daughter. I thought this was cute. Daisy Duck! <laughs> Daisy Duck! She loves all those sorts of things and the kids love it. And you know, it was six pounds. It was different. I usually buy her mini. This was Daisy Duck. Um, yeah, I just kind of fell in love with it. I sort of wish I could wear it, but I think at 52, <laughs> my days of wearing Daisy Duck are long behind me. I did pick up for myself though, I don't know what this will look like. A really simple, I've got to lean back, really simple little black sundress. I mean, it looks like nothing, to be fair. It cost me five pounds. I'm thinking of it as a beach cover up, a swimsuit cover up, I should say, because it's sort of a minimum fabric. It's got a plain camisole top, and then the skirt is plain down to this sort of, um, what do they call it? Like broidery anglais trim along the bottom so it's short but it's not massively short so the idea is as i say it's a beach cover up sling it on over my swimsuit and not feel too embarrassed for my little lara they had a tracksuit uh it's mini mouse <laughs> i get so much that's mini mouse it's soft pink it's really cute it's got little turn ups on the on the cuffs of it little gray uh string you know drawstring waist um, it says it's got mini looking at the world because the jacket that goes with it this was by the way this was um four pounds for the joggers and the jacket that matches it here it is it says 
take care of our planet. And again, it's mini on the world, but it says take care of our planet. I think it's really lovely. I like the sleeves with the leaf detail. And as per usual, they've put the bow, ooh, there's a bit of fluff on there, sorry. They've put the bow and ears on the hood. Um, I, mean, I just think they're darling these outfits this was six pounds so it's ten pounds for the little tracksuit which maybe not the cheapest in the world but certainly not as expensive as some places and i'm finding they're washing and wearing well <laughs> my mother has been um idle the last few weeks i stopped getting her wool and things like that and she's had nothing to do she was telling me the other day so then uh, i got some wool this is so soft guys it really is can you see it's a cream i'm hoping it'll focus it's a cream with little specks of red yellow blue a kind of a minty green i picked her up six balls so it cost me six pounds which i think is an absolute bargain and we'll make oops, <laughs> and we'll make a really nice jacket sweater with a little hat or whatever she wants to come up with but it's cheap and cheerful but it really is soft i picked up two of these they're the scented vacuum bag you only get one in there um it's a lavender scent i haven't smelt it i usually get the scented ones from b m where you get two in a packet um but i forgot to pick them up last time i was there and i saw these and i am putting lots of things away at the moment the ones from b m the scented ones i really like i think the scent is nice it's not overpowering it's nice and they work well but so i thought i'd give these a go for a pound why not they might be the answer to um well it's some of the bedding and, and cushions and things like that that i want to sort of suck them out and store them away i got one of these protect it to plastic drop cloth there are two in there quite big i do have some proper canvassy ones with the not canvas yeah i suppose they're canvassy with the with the uh, waterproof back on it um i do have some of those but they're a bit bulky these for draping over the top of a wardrobe i think they're fabulous so a pound after buying a tape measure for my hubby the other day guess what was a pound in Poundland? A really nice tape measure and it's heavy it's a big one it's 7.5 meters so it's a good chunky one so this one's mine i got some really cheap paint brushes a pound of course they're cheap i know a lot of people pull faces about buying cheap paint brushes but you see i quite often use them and throw them if i was doing something uh, i'm trying to think of something if i was doing something that needed a really you know a special finish then i might buy a special brush but most of the time these are more than good enough and of course because they're so cheap you can trim them to size you can you know you can make them work a pound for five i mean really you can't go wrong can you i got really excited about these guys and you're going to laugh at me but i did i got really excited these I bought three i was so excited i bought three all it is is uh 15 meters of a cotton rope i mean i don't know what they recommend it for doesn't really say doesn't really say what it's for i use this for wrapping things not wrapping presents now when i um for example i changed some light shades lampshades i had some silver lampshades in a room that i wanted all cream and very neutral and i just glue gunned rope and uh some twine and various things and it looks really nice it's really effective it can be very hard to come by and it can also be very expensive so a pound per packet i bought three even though i don't have a project on the go at the moment <laughs> Another little thing I picked up again for a pound it's um a spirit level I've got a long one but I find with the long, <laughs> the long one it's really handy don't get me wrong when I'm putting up a shelf or something because I can draw along the top of it and, but when I'm doing a smallish job or I've got my hands full the big one is, is kind of cumbersome so I always wanted a smaller one and again a pound and it makes all the difference with putting up a picture or something last couple of things I got a couple more Peppa Pig books. This one is Daddy Pig Gets Fit. And this one is Happy Holidays. I go through them every time I'm there. I go through and see if I can find some that we haven't got. And these two we haven't got. So they were a pound each. They're such a success with the kids next door. They really, really are. The grandkids absolutely love them. And because they're board books, they're lasting board books. You know what I mean? Cardboard books, hardback books. Hardback? Hard books. Oh dear. <laughs> You know what I mean? 
the last thing. We bought some quite expensive books um, that make sounds and things like that, but they're paper inside. Oh gosh, considering we only bought them at Christmas, they look like you couldn't give them away, they're so tatty. Whereas these, they just keep going. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Poundland haul, would it? It just wouldn't without these. Poundland is the only place I know that does these. I love them, peanuts. Oh. And then, oops, and then I got a couple of bits that I'm going to change for the room that I'm doing. First is a giraffe. Look at him. He's actually kind of cute as he is. Um, he's like a sort of a dull gold and it's got this pretty, I don't know if it'll come across, pretty pattern on him. In my head, anyway, he's changing colour. He's not going to be this colour. He will probably be hot pink. He could be ochre yellow. I could go gold, you know, bright gold. But I don't think I will. I think he's going to go some zany colour because that's how I'm seeing that room in my head. Oh, and he was four pounds. I think he's nice for four pounds. And then the very last item, again, for decoration, it's the hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. I always say it, how do I say it? I'm trying to think. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. So probably, yeah, see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, I don't know. <laughs> But it's the three monkeys. And again, it's in this nice gold, which, you know, if you're into the gold, and I am in some places, then you don't need to do anything to it because I think their faces are lush. Um, but again, it's going to be painted some sort of wacky colour and it'll be on the windowsill or on a shelf or, or something in that room. And this was again four pounds. So that was it. That was my latest little Poundland haul. I do have a whole lot of things I got from the range. Not enough to do a whole video. And I've got a whole lot of things that I got from TK Maxx that I'm going to show you in another haul. I'll probably combine those two actually. But the only other thing I have to add to this one is uh, when I was in Sainsbury's, popped in just to get, you know, food for people, they were selling off these. Now, let's see if I can get one out without causing disaster. Look at that. They were normally, according to the sign, they were normally seven pounds. I picked this one, I actually picked up two. Oops, as I say, they're in the sale. I picked them up for £2.50 each and I think they'll look stunning on the wall against that navy paper. Don't know whether I'll leave it this colour, the wood. I might change that, I might paint it. I may not because I kind of like that colour. But a bit of, my, bit of my head is going ochre yellow with the greenery. But isn't that lovely greenery? So that was the only other thing, that was Sainsbury's. As I say, I've got some other things to show you. They were too long to add to this video, so I'm going to combine them together and do another video. Um, and hopefully, as I say, I'll be getting on with that flipping, flipping room. Oh, send me good vibes, guys, so I can get on with it tomorrow. I'd really like to get on with it tomorrow. And one more thing I forgot. That was the range. I'm all over the place in this video, guys. I'm like, um, I'm like a Gemini today. I am a Gemini. <laughs> Bipolar, all over the place they had my nails back in Poundland. I didn't see them at first and I picked up this packet by Fern McCann. Nightfall Square Gloss. I thought they were rather nice. Um, dark blue, probably a bit long for me, but I'll give them a whirl. I didn't like the Just Right ones, but I thought I might like the Fern McCann ones. Although <laughs> possibly it's the same company, who knows? Anyway, I then went to do some other things. I came back and the lady was filling the shelf. So I picked up, let me see now, two packets of the ones I had originally, which are the short square nails in the kind of French. And then they had these ones, which I hadn't seen before, which are short almond, slightly different, ooh, <laughs> slightly different color. You see these are more pink. Those are more of a neutral. And again, I thought, I'm going to give those a whirl as well. I have been so impressed with these. I've looked and looked and looked. So three packets and my blue one. Whoops. And my blue one. So that's me put it out for quite a while. And I mean, those lasted a long time. 
anyway there we go all over the place what a mess i'm gonna have a job editing this <sighs> you'll all need to lie down after listening to me chanter in this video <laughs> anyway <laughs> i'm off now back to the ironing <laughs> bye guys